While nearly all of the Western automakers backed out of CES 2026, there are always a few gems to discover, like this sexy sports car that just happens to be electric. Two things I learned. It is very close to becoming a real production car. This is way beyond just a concept. And two, as an American, I want to pronounce it as Caterham cars that are made out of aluminum. But in the Queen's English... Uh, my name is Justin Gardner and I work for Caterham Cars. Uh, Caterham is best known for making the Caterham 7, a vehicle which has been in production since 1957 and is very, very lightweight, uh, but up until now has been purely gasoline powered. Uh, the 7 weighs 1,100 pounds and comes with anything between a 0.6 litre Suzuki engine and a 2 litre Ford Duratec engine. Uh, but for the, the, the future, for the new millennium, if you like, uh, we are looking at EV. And we have, we have decided to go with a coupe, uh, so quite a different design to the 7. But if you look carefully, you'll notice that the headlight, headlights are round. Uh, there is a bit of an opening here, which hints at a open wheel, which is what the 7 is. And even the shape of the front grille, grille is vaguely 7-esque. And it's also only rear-wheel drive. Um, a lot of EV manufacturers are hell-bent on getting as much power in there as they can, but 2,000 horsepower motors, four-wheel drive, uh, in-wheel motors, um, torque vectoring, all of these clever gadgets, that's the exact opposite of what we want. Caterham is about purity, simplicity, and being fun to drive. So this car has a single motor in the rear, uh, currently producing about 280 horsepower. You might get a little bit more out of it, but there are no clever electronic gizmos on it at all. Uh, the only thing controlling the car is the driver. Uh, speaking about the driver, most EVs are on a skateboard where all the batteries are, are put beneath the floor of the car, underneath the seats. That means the driver is sitting on the batteries. We don't like that. We put the batteries between the driver and the passenger's legs and underneath the rear seat. So the driver sits very, very close to the ground, just as they would in a Caterham 7. That gives you a sportier feeling. And let's face it, it makes it feel like you're going faster when you're not necessarily going that fast. 400 volt system, as I said, single motor. As far as EV goes, as simple as we can make it. And you're here in the Zing booth who does immersion cooling. That's exactly right. Um, when it came to the battery technology, um, we recognize how Caterham owners drive their cars. Uh, they tend to drive them quite hard and quite fast, which means with an EV, an awful lot of energy has got to get dumped out of the battery at very high speed. Uh, batteries don't like that. They get very hot when you do that. So we've gone with immersion-cooled batteries. Uh, Zing Mobility are a Taiwanese company. Uh, they specialize in these ultra-safe battery packages. Uh, their first products were mining equipment, because one place you do not want to have a lithium fire is in a mine. Uh, another place you don't want a lithium fire is on a racetrack. So we've gone with them. I'm thrilled by the wave of affordable EVs coming to America. Okay, maybe it's just a splash. And fingers crossed, I hope that Caterham will be the first of several EVs that put light weight ahead of raw power. And uh, hey, maybe sharing this video and giving it a like will help Project V become a production EV. We do plan to go into production in 2027. So seems like a long way away, but it's already 2026. It's only next year. Yeah. Well, um, I'll put a link to the website where people can get more information because I want to see more of these out on the road. So thank you very much for the overview. You've got a year to wait. They'll be with you soon. Nice. Thank you. Bye-bye.